what we're going to be looking at is how to make some simple adjustments to an image, uh, specifically color balance, hue saturation, uh, and brightness and contrast. Uh, where we're going to find these, um, I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this. Um, as you can see in my layers window, I have uh, this layer uh, selected with, once again, the lovely image of my road. Um, to make these adjustments, or one way to make these adjustments, is go to Image, Adjustments, uh, and let's look at Brightness and Contrast first. Clicking on that, I'm going to get this little pop-up window, which is going to allow me uh, to uh, move these sliders around and uh, see the results in my image. Uh, to see those results, you need to have Preview checked. Uh, so from here, I can uh, make some changes uh, to Brightness and Contrast, um, and if I want to see the result against what I started at, I can just click preview on and off. Right? I'm going to hit OK. Um, and if I want to go back, I can always call up my history and go back to uh, before I made those changes, which is what I'm going to do. So I can show you some of these other options. Uh, I'm going to look at uh, image adjustments and next we'll look at hue and saturation. And again, you're going to get a nice uh, handy dialog box to come up here. Um, here you can make changes to um, aspects such as hue, uh, saturation, and uh, lightness. Um, again, you're going to want to click on preview to see the results from before and after. And I'm just going to hit cancel. There's another way to kind of negate the changes we made. Um, and then the last one uh, we'll be looking at is color balance, which is under image, adjustments, and color balance. And the dialog for this, um, what you can do here is not only uh, change the color balance, you can do it, um, um, the color balance in the shadows, midtones, or highlights. Um, it's going to default to midtones, and I'll just keep us there for now. Um, and from here you can make some subtle shifts to color um, in either direction. Um, and again, you can click preview on and off to see the change. Um, this is great, um, but um, why I choose not to work this way is that it makes permanent changes to the image. Uh, the way around this is to use something called adjustment layers. Now, if you look over here in the layers panel, um, you're going to see uh, this little uh, symbol right here called New Fill or Adjustment Layer. There it is. And then from here I can find uh, those very same uh, things that I'd like to change. So I'm going to go to, for example, Brightness and Contrast. And when I do that, um, if you don't have it open, there will be an Adjustments window, which you can just go to Window and Adjustments. Um, and if it isn't chart check marked, you can click on it and it'll pop right up. And right here, um, you'll find everything that was in the dialog box that popped up before. And I can make the very same changes I was doing before. The difference is, is that if you look at your, your layer window, is that it's actually creating a new layer um, that has these adjustments in it. So uh, I can turn this layer on and off. All the while, I'm keeping uh, that uh, my original image right where I need it to be, right? So now, for example, I want to move on and show you uh, a, a different type of adjustment. I'm just going to turn off this brightness and contrast layer, and I'm going to go back down, and I'm going to show you hue and saturation now. Um, as you can see, it created another layer that says hue and saturation, and I'm given the same options I had in the dialog before, uh, where I can make some subtle changes. Right? Uh, and again, I can turn that on and off. Um, but I also have uh, the brightness and contrast adjustment there, too. So I can try some unique ways of combining these uh, later. Um, as you can see, it's kind of giving me this nice dreary result, and if I want to look at the original one, I can just turn them off. Um, the last adjustment we're going to look at is color balance. And again, it's going to make me a nice new adjustment layer for that. 
Uh, and I'm going to push this a little bit more towards yellow. Um, and again, I have the exact same options I did before, but the thing that's great about this is, is that it's not hurting my original image. Um, if I ever need to go back, I can delete one of these layers and make a new one. Um, but now, I can combine these and try them in different combinations. Um, and that's really the key to using these adjustments in Photoshop, is not just making one or two random adjustments, is finding unique ways of combining them. Um, and and the, what we did here, where we're not actually hurting the original image, is called non-destructive editing, because we're not actually changing the original image. Um, and this is a great practice when you're out uh, as professional designers because um, you're going to need to go back and make changes and uh, try different ways of approaching these design solutions. So being able to go back to your original image fast um, is going to be a great thing to have.